What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Floyd Ventus, back with another video. It's your vlog 25, uh, 2023. We're going into spring right now. It's getting warm. Temperature going back and forth. Uh, dropping like through three videos back to back. So you might see like the same theme, everything the same. I got to jump in, dig in. You feel what I'm saying? And I promise you, after these ones, I'm going to get a little fresh. Get cleaned up for y'all. Because I keep saying I'm going to get cleaned up. i just been doing a whole lot of stuff. Uh, the last vlog was basically showing y'all how to get your splatter ball together. The motor go down. Um, but this vlog right here, we're going to jump into the everyday carry gel blaster for this summer. Well, I suggest out of my guns that, y'all you know I'm saying, that it'll be a good everyday carry like if you really if you really sliding all day and y'all hey where you at for the pull up shoot y'all you know what i'm saying you playing around them jail blasters i want to make sure that i'm saying this right because youtube will flag stuff i'm saying so jail blaster drive bass stay there we go we go i need to write that down it's gonna be g b d g no d b it's gonna be the little initials to that, um, and I'm trying to make trying to figure out what gun that, and we gonna just gonna say two guns, cause every day carry mostly people that carry real guns. It's like you carry two guns, maybe a big gun, or in a small gun, or two or a real small pocket gun in a right real nice size pistol or whatever. So me, I will probably. Put it back where it was at. By the way, that's the that's basically one of the giveaway guns I'm giving away. It's just the the new one is green and black, I do believe. But just like that, it might be a little bit shorter. Tap into that. Um, but I will say you gotta have some big, and you gotta have some that's small on the gel blaster side. You gotta have some big that hit hard, and some that take a drum. So if it's not gonna be one of these on the big side, we are gonna start big to little. I'm gonna say one of these. We're gonna, we're gonna put a couple of combos in y'all here real quick. The splatter ball big joint. This is one of the ones that don't nothing too much. Don't too many come harder than this. And now they come with a drum, so you get a drum in there. You have like 800 or 1200 rounds. And then plus the mag that, that come with it. it. Like if you were a brother like me, I got multiple of these, so I got multiple other small mags. So this would be. If you got multiple mags, will be a nice gun to pull up in because it's gonna be it's gonna hit hard. Yo, know, whatever you aiming at is gonna hit, and it don't jam that much as long as you keep your ammo and all that 100% uh, full filled up and watered and in a container. Um, trying to think of what else was a nice another gun that would last long battery, dependable. Go hit your mark, shoot fast. I might have to go with the. I might have to go with the what's the name? I ain't gonna cap. I might have to go with my baby. With the M249. I do believe this is called. Back of it off, because that's where you charge charge it at. But I've been in the field with this baby. As you can tell, it got a little modification right here. Anything you see any modifications on, I've been in the field with and it's certified. And I recommend highly to anybody out there. I already gave one of these away. I don't know if she used it yet or how she like it yet, but I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get some type of some type of uh, answers real soon. When when them, when them, when they get pulled out, I'm gonna get some type of answers real soon. But I'll say probably this in the jail blaster because I got plenty of bottles, like plenty of bottles, and I can show y'all that with the camera real quick. Plenty of bottles. And those right here is all the ones that came with my guns and the ones that came with my guns and the ones that uh, I bought. I think it was like a 20 pack I bought or a 10. I bought two 20 pack or two 10 packs and it was like 20 or some each. So if you're going to have bottle fed guns, you want to make sure that you got a lot of bottles. And that is a tip when you come into one of these wars. 
You want to make sure that you got bottles on deck because if you got ammo, you can fill your bottles up and you really ain't got to stop when you reload. And it's going to be a four or five second or however fast you reload and you're back in the fight instead of, you know what I'm saying, just in case if it's one of them rounds where, or one of them type wars where you get caught lacking while you reload and that's on you. Like Sometimes I might let you reload depending on the way you move around. Like, oh yeah, he moving around too smooth. I'm going to let him go ahead, get that out the way. Cause I know he might, they might owe me, I might, they might let me reload because I let them. You feel what I'm saying? It's all about however the game go. But sometimes it get crucial out there. People don't, it will get crucial. Most of us don't care. And you will have to do what you got to do. Run off taking some shots while you're reloading. Because I know, I think, if I, I think I got a few videos where I was doing, I was watching how fast I reloaded. And I think I reloaded in like five to six Maybe like seconds, maybe ten. It was it was around there, but it wasn't no more than ten seconds. Cause I dropped, I shoot, drop back. You you leave the gun just like this to put the max screw it back on there. Choo choo, some real, you know what I'm saying? Strong. Choo choo, make sure it's on there tight, but not too tight. Flip it back up. You know what I'm saying? Make sure that they drop in there the right way, and you you on and popping. Um, I'm trying to think of whatever the gun. If it's not this gun, then I'll say. An MP5. This is my MP5. Whew, this is a bad, this is a bad bumper jumper. I don't know how the other one that I did was was called a mini MP5 and it had a long gun and it was way longer than like this, way bigger than this. This is truly supposed to be the, the small MP5. And this is a monster. Forty dollar, one of my lavish camo like in the field with this heavy. It is like I think when it's cold. I think the battery kept like like freezing the gun because it kept getting stuck and then it start back. So I don't know what the hell was going on with that. So you gotta watch this gun. Depending on if it's cold outside. I never had a problem while it was hot. Um I'm trying to think. This gun. And if you got this, we gotta niche match it up. We can't put nothing with the same one. So if I got this one, then I'm gonna have to go with the glow in the dark joint. That big glow in the dark joint. Yeah, I'm going to have to grab it because I want y'all to see exactly what I'm talking about. The big glow in the dark job. Got to come. You got to come. You know what I'm saying? When you got the MP5, you got to come something, something nice. You feel what I'm saying? Now, but one thing about this gun, it do got a big battery. But one thing you got to remember is when you shoot every shot, it's going to light up. And that's going to take some battery away from it every single time. So you got to keep that in mind that yeah you keep this gun loaded it's gonna put some shit down or if it don't put some shit down they're gonna run off because they're gonna get hit with this now i think this will get hit a little bit harder than the splatter ball do because how big how big it is like it's it's, it's a little bit bigger than the other um so i think that off the top of my head right now kind of rushing that then will be a nice Combo, combo, and I'm gonna go to my third combo real quick. Just gonna do about four, four, five combos real quick. The M 1911, I do believe it's called. Yes, sir, you Bob. I think it's, it's a battery in here. Yes, yeah, battery in here. Um, M 1911. Yes, sir. I took the tip off of it because it. We ain't gonna talk about that. Um, this is a small little pistol. I feel like this can go to war with some big dogs for real. Like, as long as you don't miss your shots, as long as the gun is acting right, everything is good. The person know what they're doing with the guns, and you good. Now, a gun that I would use with this is probably the. I gotta come big boy. Big boy with the. With the big boy drum. Mind you, you want to have something big and something small. Oh, wait a minute. I don't want to break nothing. I'm trying to figure out why we're not going in the right way. Yes, sir. Big boy with the. Yes, sir. So, very nice combination. Because this, this gun shoots slow, but it's going to hit hard. And you got that drum with it. 
And then now you got a, a bottle fed gun that you can have at least about four or five of these on you and still be able to move around nice with with the with this gun on you. Just don't have no bottle in here. It's basically have it on you like a regular pistol. And just when you run around with this. And then when this go out, when you go out with this, basically I gotta think, because we was basically like Call of Duty war type paintball, airsoft, it's all the same. Then go to this, uh uh, get off off me. When, they, when it's basically, when you basically good enough or get covered to reload, you reload, uh, get, your, get your stuff back in there, and then you can put your pistol back up, and get back to shooting with your big dog. But if your big dog is not needed, then it ain't needed. Um, I was at the fourth or the fifth one. I'm losing count, y'all. For one, the fourth one, we going to act like that's the fourth one. So I'm going to go ahead with the next one. I'm trying to think. Uh, we had that. We had that. Hmm. I got the Fortnite guns was pretty nice. But I don't want to throw them. I don't want to throw that in there until I actually, like, I just shot it too. They shoot nice. Don't get me wrong. But the price that they was, that's why I think they went back up. But... My last, but not least, is going to be the Yon Meaner. With the, with the, the, double, the double barrel AR. It's only got one trigger, though. So I can see. You know, you like, you know, a lot of double barrel guns got more than one trigger. When I first got this gun, they both shot out at the same time. But now it's like, when you got all this extra space, it'd be like getting crowded in here. So I'm like, sometimes you might just want to go short, short. And I do believe that way it get the job done better. But I always put that extra what's name on there just to have it. But this got the double, the double TD on there. The double Yami. It don't hold as much as you would like think, think, but it, it hold a lot. Like, cause the whole thing, all of it get filled up. So you want to make sure you keep pouring it in there. And hold a lot once you, like, I actually filled it all the way up. And I was shooting like, yeah, this hold a lot. Cause I was shooting for a while. So we're going to go big boy like this. Put this back up. So I ain't trying to clean up this shit again. I already cleaned it up earlier. Big boy like this. And then we're going to have to most definitely go. Have to go this. Have to go with the with the Mackety. I have a lot of guns that's orange and orange and goddamn gray. I'll tell you that much. I have to go with the Mackety. You feel me? The perfect look combo. Perfect look combo. Some stupid fast and then some double barrel. Come on, man. You can't beat that. You can't beat that at all. You feel me? Somebody say you can, they tripping. I just gotta basically get this in full training. I ain't got this in full training to see how it's gonna act. Cause it's all about like if it's gonna jam and how all that extra stuff. But um, I do believe that was the fifth one. I'm trying to think of how many did I do. Yeah, that one. That one with the Wilson name. Yeah, that one. Then this one, that this that was four. Let me slide this five in real quick. Okay, so if I didn't have this one, we're gonna have to throw it in there. And we're gonna throw this one in there with to to, to finish it all off. Put this stuff up real quick. I'm about to get everywhere. Pulling everything out. I just put it up. We got to go with the big boy. With I sat down before I grabbed it. With my other big boy, not big boy, but that glow in the dark thing. You feel what I'm saying? I pull out with this. 
just how this is right here. And then don't even worry about too much at all. And I just shoot to the go dead. Because I know for a fact that that one is going to put in that work. I'm going to get some shots off. You feel what I'm saying? And this going to last. And this and this hit. These these G36s, I do believe this is called G36 too. But this is the smaller version. And these hit hard. Like, you would think that this little gun don't hit as hard as it do. It might look... It, it's, See what I'm saying? It it, it, it it hit. So them little nice two combinations gonna be nice. I'm gonna have a drum and a bottle fed. Y'all notice that I did both. Each time I got both. And when y'all actually get in that field, you gonna see why. You feel what I'm saying? Like you gonna see why I said like you gonna need both. Cause I got them there 30 bottles right here. But if you got uh, uh, two guns or a gun that only got a magazine. You're not getting too far. Now, if you got a drum, getting far. But when that drum run out, that means you got to shoot the right way. You only got one gun. Sometimes we might play with two or you know, however it go. It is what it is. Um, but that's my five combinations of everyday carry for 2023 part one. This is just a quick little... You know what I'm saying? Fly by just the, the little combinations that I'll grab. Like, okay, damn, I need two guns real quick. And I'm finna grab all the ammo I can. Those will be the quick ones that I'll be like, okay, let me hit this, get this, get this, get this. Because I want to make sure I got something big. You want to make sure you got something small. Uh, another thing I want to throw in there before I end this video is uh, like, comment, subscribe to the channel. Uh... Hit that notification bell if you want to see more videos like this. Comment below. Let me know if you like this video. What you think about the five uh, loadout. Um, if you know the other guns I do got, what you think? I should have switched up. Um, if you do come to a war, um, you might want to come with, most definitely come with glasses. You might want to invest in a mask. You want to, Like I said, you want to invest in more bottles if you got a bottle fed. Um jail blaster uh you want to invest in some more batteries especially if you got a big boy battery like these you want to invest in more of these because these come in handy these is more important than buying another gun like of course this gun is cost 70 50 dollars but why would i buy another gun just to get a battery i'm not gonna spend 20 dollars just to get two batteries now i just saved me buying two more guns for real you feel what i'm saying because now i can Switch these batteries out. That gun, I've been shooting, but you don't want to overload your motor either. They, the motors do get them there wore out. So that's one thing about you want to have more than one gun because you don't want to over, overdo one gun. Um, let me see what else it is before I end this. Uh, Metallic skin is uh, ammo. You want to have bottles. Uh, you want to at least have, I keep saying 10,000 per person, but I'm going to go ahead and keep it at 10,000 per person. You want to make sure you have 10,000. Uh, gel blaster uh, beads per person when you come to these wars so you will you don't have to worry because these bottles alone take like five to eight hundred um the drums take eight hundred to twelve hundred and i do believe these might might take five hundred these bottles i'm tripping um a lot of the mags take two hundred three hundred four fifty five hundred five fifty so you want to make sure you got enough, especially if y'all having five, six, ten rounds. Make sure you got enough so you ain't got to worry about, oh, I, I got to watch my bullets. No, go hard in the paint. Um, I do believe I got to do another what's the name or something, but I ain't going to worry about that. I think I knocked out enough videos so I was supposed to knock out. So tap into your boy. It's not over. We in the beginning. Little Floyd Vintage out.